Welcome back to my channel guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into my latest tutorial. Hey guys, happy Halloween. So this year I'm going to be creating this leopard hair and makeup tutorial for you guys. Don't be intimidated. It's actually not as hard as it looks. with our NYX Cosmetics Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Chardonnay Shimmer. I'm going to apply it in all of the areas that I'm going to be placing my spots, kind of like a base. And then I'm just blending it away with a damp beauty blender. And now I'm going to grab my Color Tattoo Pure Pigment from Maybelline. This is a gold shimmery eyeshadow. You want some kind of gold shimmer for this, whether it's a highlighter or an eyeshadow. This gold pigment is going to be a huge component for this look. I'm going to use it everywhere. For the glue for my spots, I'm going with my Farsali Unicorn Essence Makeup Primer. And I'm just going to take some gold leaf and break it in really uneven sizes and place them all over the areas that I just highlighted. So you want really uneven pieces and uneven shapes. So I'm just using a dot of the primer and this primer is ideal for this look because it's not a spray bottle. And the easiest way to apply gold leaf on your face is to use tweezers and a flat brush. So I'm placing it with the tweezers and then flattening it down using a flat brush. And now I want to create some depth around my spot, so I'm going to grab my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Oud and I'm going to add some depth around each spot. So because I'm doing a leopard print look, I'm going to create horseshoe shapes or C shapes. For cheetah spots, then you would go all the way around and do perfect circles. And now I'm grabbing my Stila Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner and you want something very sharp and precise for this. And you're going to create hair like strokes. So they're very straight and jaggedy and again very uneven. So I'm creating C shapes and horseshoe shapes but you're not going to go all the way around. I was actually just using the print from my outfit as inspiration for my spots but use the eyeshadow as a guide. And now I'm going to create the same exact process on my shoulder. So I'm starting with the gold on top of the illuminating stick base and I'm going to start placing some of these gold leaves on top of a little dot of primer. And again, once the eyeshadow is applied, I'm going to go in with my liquid liner and just add a lot more interest and depth into the spots. This is actually so easy and so fun. Like it looks like it's a lot of work, but it's really not because you're just repeating the same exact thing just a bunch of times. For my eyes, I'm going to use the same exact palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Blazing as my transition shade in my crease and darken it a little bit with the shade Amber. And once that's blended, I'm going to go in and darken it even more with the shade Oud, which is what I used on my spots. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Desert Sand and I'm, this is basically like a powder concealer I feel and I'm just going to clean up all of the edges and blend everything away with it. And then I'm going to go back in with the gold color tattoo and I'm going to create almost like a cut crease in the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to drag it to the center of my eye. And now I'm going to take the shade Blood Moon and I'm going to combine the gold with the brown until it's completely blended. And I'm applying this by tapping it on with a flat brush. And now I'm going to create a really cat-like eyeliner. So you're going to create two wings. You're going to create one on the corner edge of your eye and you're going to create a smaller wing on the inner corner of your eye. And really take your time with this part because you want to make sure that both eyes are balanced. I'm going to go in with my pencil liner from Pixi and I'm going to apply it on the inner waterline and right underneath my waterline so that it's nice and dark and nice and dramatic. And now I'm just going to go back in with that lighter shade Desert Sand and smudge everything underneath away so that it's nice and blended and a little bit softer. And now for some detail, I'm just going to add a little bit of the gold to the inner and outer edge of the wing. And you want a pretty full eyelash for this look. I'm using my Huda Beauty Lashes in Sasha. And then I'm just blending them in with my Smashbox Eye Brightening Mascara. And I'm going to be very, very generous with my mascara because I really want a really dramatic eye look. And I'm going to use the same gold pigment for my highlight on my cheekbones, nose, and lip. I told you guys I was going to use it everywhere. And then I'm going to start with my nose by creating an upside down triangle right underneath the ridge of my nose. And I'm just going to color in the entire bottom of my nose. 
And then I'm gonna drag a line down to my lip and create little dots instead of whiskers. I thought the whiskers looked too cat-like and I thought the dots looked more leopard-like for some reason, so I went in with the dots. And then you're going to just blacken your upper lip. I'm using an eyeliner because for some reason I couldn't find my black lipstick, but you can use a black lipstick or a black eyeliner for your upper lip. And then you're just gonna drag out the edges and curl them up a little bit to create more of like a cat-like pout. And then for your bottom lip, you wanna go in pretty shimmery. I'm using my lip strobe in Ritzy because it has a little bit of a gold shimmer and then I'm gonna set it with the same gold pigment. So I actually applied gold leaf to this and it just wasn't practical because it wasn't comfortable and I knew I wouldn't be able to eat or like talk properly, so I took it off. And now I'm gonna set my nose and the inner parts of my lip with some black eyeshadow so it doesn't smudge. A leopard. A leopard? Oh, what's it doing? I'm drawing spots. You want some spots? Yeah, on my eye? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a big scary monster? Yeah. A monster leopard? Can mommy borrow your yummy shocky? I need your sock. Okay, have your other sock? <laughs> Thank you! So we're gonna create sock buns and they're gonna be little mini sock buns. That's why I'm using baby socks. So you just wanna cut off the top part and roll it into kind of like a donut. And then you're just gonna create a little ponytail. And this is basically gonna be your first ear. So once you have the ponytail in place, you're gonna slide your sock bun in and then you're just gonna spread the hair out over it as evenly as possible. And don't worry about this being messy, guys, because it's supposed to look like fur and hair, so it's okay if it's messy. And then you're just gonna tie a second ponytail over it and then wrap the tail end of the hair all the way around. So once all the hair is tucked away, you just wanna secure it with a bobby pin and then you're gonna flip the bun vertical so that it's standing up like ears and just give it a little bit of a pull and a tug and just secure it into place using some bobby pins and just keep pulling so that it looks like hair. And then you're gonna start on your second bun and like I said, don't worry about it being perfect but you do wanna make sure that the buns are somewhat even so that you don't have like lopsided ears. So make sure that they're balanced, but don't worry about them being too, too clean. So again, once the bun is secured, I'm just gonna flip it vertical on its side so that it actually looks like an ear and secure that into place. And then for the remainder of my hair, you wanna create as much texture as you can. This is actually my natural curl. And for all you curly haired girls out there, if you've been to a hair salon in the t last 10 years, you've probably had this technique used on your hair. It's very common. I actually learned it back in hair school and I've been using it ever since then. You're just gonna pick up random straggly bits that are a little fuzzy and just refine them with a small wand. Um, and then you're gonna take some kind of texture spray and make your hair as big as possible. <laughs> You're gonna take Zayden's socks? Okay, take his socks. Take Zayden's socks. <laughs> One more sucky. Can you kiss his butt? And I'm gonna do little mini sock buns for my little mini leopard here. And that's gonna be Aliana's ear.
I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was probably one of the most fun tutorials I've shot to date, and I think I'm gonna do some more creative looks like this from now on. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Bye.